it's Naya. Welcome back to Naya with a Smile. I just got back from a three day trip to New York. I went there for a very exciting project that I cannot talk about now, um, but it is huge and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. I was able to visit the Strand Bookstore, which is kind of the, um, I guess, most well known bookstore in New York. I always see bookstagrammers and booktubers going, I finally got to go and I picked up amazing books. The Strand is so cool. So like when you first go to the bookstore, they have tons of carts outside of the shop with discount books. All of these books were either one or two dollars. I think I only spent a total of like ten dollars, which I got a ton of books. I feel like I like stole from the place or something because the books were so cheap. But yeah, without further ado, let us get to this book haul. Okay, so the first book I got, I'm actually currently halfway through right now and it is so good. I have been seeing this author everywhere and I finally picked up one of his books. This one sounded so interesting, which is why I chose it. After Dark by Haruki Murakami. Haruki Murakami is a well-known author in Japan, so a lot of his works are being translated now into English, which is awesome because his books are so good. This book here, After Dark, is such a mind trip. Like, I, I don't know how better to describe it. Like I said, I'm halfway through. I started it on the plane because I, yeah, I, I couldn't wait, okay. This book takes place over one night in Tokyo. The book opens up and we're following this 19 year old girl who is sitting in a Denny's diner and it's like two in the morning. All of a sudden this guy comes into the diner and he says that he knows her because she has a sister who they spent like a summer together or something. He vaguely remembers him um, but invites him to sit down and they end up talking. Then we jump to these chapters that are so eerie and creepy but also a bit um kind of like whimsical where the narration changes and we are suddenly like viewing her sister through the lens of a camera and she's sleeping in this room and there's this man watching her sleep and it's so creepy and you're like what's going on it keeps jumping between the sister and then her sister who's asleep in some other room and the author jumps between these different perspectives um we're following kind of both sisters except one sister's asleep and one sister's awake and we don't know why there's a man watching one of the sisters along this nighttime journey our character ends up visiting sort of the prostitution area of japan because there was this girl who was attacked and she only speaks Chinese and our main character speaks Chinese and it, it there's no it, it it's kind of just all over the place following this girl throughout this entire crazy night and it's beautiful and eerie and darker than I thought it was gonna be I could see why everyone loves Haruki's writing because it is just so um, introspective I guess you could say like I said I'm only halfway through it so um, I'm gonna have to continue reading to find out how it ends this next book is also an adult novel I believe um, based off just the synopsis this book follows our main character who is a teenager in high school one night he attends his school dance and something tragic happens that leaves him basically locked into to his own body. He's in this comatose state now and it's 10 years later and I believe he's still fully aware of what's going on but he's just kind of locked into his body and um, paralyzed. This book like I said fast forwards to five or ten years after this tragic accident and Oliver's been in the hospital bed following the different family members in Oliver's family as well as a girl that he had a crush on that it was the reason why he went to that dance. Kind of just see how their lives were changed after this tragic night that happened. Medical tests end up showing that there might be a way to revive Oliver or um, get feeling back in his body and get him out of this comatose state. Doing so, they will learn what actually happened that night because a lot of it was kept a secret and because Oliver was unresponsive, no one really truly knew what happened that night. This book sounds so interesting and yeah, it was two dollars. The cover immediately drew me to it and then I read the synopsis and was hooked. This next book here is Irish Fairy and Folk Tales by W. B. Yeats. Anyone who knows me knows that I love fairy tales, folk tales, mythology, specifically Greek mythology is my favorite, but I don't think I have ever read any sort of Irish fairy tales or folk tales and I saw this book and immediately was like one dollar I'm taking it the title kind of explains what it is it's just a collection of different fairy tales and folk tales from Ireland super excited to dive into this one Ooh, okay so this book was also like two dollars and I saw it and I you guys know I love retelling stories a whole new world by Liz Broswell and I believe this is the first book 
in this series. I hope I thought books where it's like the second or third book and I had no idea until I started reading it, but I'm pretty sure this is the first book. So the premise of this story is what would have happened if Aladdin didn't find the lamp? What if he didn't get a genie, didn't get three wishes? Would he still have met the princess? Would he still have had the ending that he had in the original Aladdin stories? Yeah, that one line hooked me. What if he didn't find the lamp? I can't imagine Aladdin without genie, so I'm really curious to see like what's going to happen in this story, and I believe it's a young adult book as well. But yeah, this book was originally $20 for a hardback, and I got it for $2, so steal. The very last book I picked up at the Strand is The Darkest Corners by Cara Thomas. Now this is another like $2 book. They kind of put a sticker on the cover. I'll get it off later. You guys know I love a good thriller, and this one just... It hooked me. So this book follows two best friends, which I love books that follow like friends. Um, but yeah, we're following two characters who they were childhood friends. So something tragic happened and one of the friends decided to stay in the town and the other one left. So many years have passed and now the friend that left has come back and is sort of rekindling that friendship and just working through what actually happened that night. I love stories where like something happened one night and then we never really got the full story and then we had to come back later on and like figure things out. You you're noticing a pattern, I'm sure. Um, the line that hooked me with this one is on the very top, it says, by the last page, there will be no one left to trust. Um, okay, you got me, <laughs> I'm in. But yes, those are all the books I got. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep reading, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.